Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to be having our first FIFA 22 discussion today on the channel, taking a look at what we learned from the official reveal trailer and from EA's website and all the information they are putting out there, along with some of the quote unquote leaks of information that is actually there's some new leaks coming out just recently about some weekend league and foot champions updates so i want to talk about that a little bit today as well we'll start off with that and then look at some of the other information that we learned now i'm not going to watch the trailer because that is long and dizzying to be completely honest but of course inside of fever 21 right now you've got the trailer and your first chance to pre-order the ultimate edition of FIFA 22 and a lot of this information is over here on the website so we're going to be looking over here a lot today now we're going to start with the basics but of course talk about that brand new I guess you could call it leak of information about the weekend league um, and we're going to start off with that because of course in the deep dive for FIFA 22 ultimate team which says full reveal coming soon you guys have heard about the heroes we'll talk about those a little bit more today it says foot 22 redesigns division rivals and foot champions to create a more accessible way to test your skills and progress against other players. So we knew there were going to be some changes coming to these two modes, but today there was some information released talking specifically about those things. And that is this, that foot champions, the weekend league is going to be shortened once again. Now from FIFA 18 to FIFA 17 to FIFA 19, I believe they switched the weekend league from 40 games to 30 games. Now they're going back another 10 games, 20 games of weekend league is going to be the new normal for the, our premier competition inside of FIFA. And also qualification is not going to be just from division rivals points. Like it was this past year, it's going to be going back to sort of a um, DKT, which was basically a knockout tournament, a daily knockout tournament is what that stood for, where you had to win four games in a row to get into the weekend league. Now it looks like it's going to be different from the old DKT that we used to have, that you have five games, you have to win three, and you get three attempts per week. Now that makes it seem like it's going to be a lot easier, right? They even said here on the web page that is going to it is going to make the Foot Champions Weekend League more accessible, right? And right off the bat, you make it makes you think, okay, three wins out of five. If those don't have to be consecutive, then that's probably going to get more people inside of the Weekend League. Now it also says um, that these are going to be. There was some more information released about this this weekend league qualification and is going to be released and you're going to get matched up still still with skill based matchmaking. So if you're in division four, division five, you, you'll get matched up with players around your same division. And also, again, this is just scratching the surface today. We're learning a lot of information, but there's a new player reward system, right? So basically it makes us think of how foot champions weekend league rewards have some rating ranges or like 89 plus or 91 plus for some of the higher tiers in weekend league rewards. And it looks like that is going to be somewhat similar to how rewards look all year inside of FIFA 22. So basically the higher rank you get, the better version of the card that you get, which is going to be very interesting, of course. Now, right now, again, this is just preliminary information. We're going to get a lot more info about this later on when they do the deep dive on FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. Again, full reveal coming soon. But I wanted to start off and talk about that today because this is just a lot of, there's a lot of talk around this, right? There's just a lot of talk about what is going on with foot champions because 20 games, there's less games, which makes people think it's going to be more accessible. I think in all, honestly, there's a new player reward system. I honestly think though, what you're going to see is probably rewards are going to be I guess less if you compare FIFA 21 rewards with a 30 game weekend league to FIFA 22 rewards with a 20 game weekend league, I feel like you're going to see lower quality rewards because EA, of course, is going to say and they're going to think, hey, you're playing less games. So even though it's the most premier competition, they, I, I still think they're going to reduce the rewards, even though they could be quote unquote better for like red picks. Uh, I still think they might reduce the quantity of rewards. So that is something that as we learn more information about this, we will be looking out for, of course. Now, let's go into some of the other stuff that was talked about because, you know, these foot heroes people are very excited about and they're really cool, right? It's kind of like a lower echelon of icons. Um, but also there's some stuff in here that's making it seem like these cards might not be out until December 1st. So I want to talk about that a bit as well. But just to kind of put some clarification on what these foot heroes are, they have unique league specific 
chemistry, which is tied to their specific, specific hero moment, providing a green club link to any player within the same league as well as the usual nation link, giving you new ways to build your dream squad and recreate some of football's most famous moments in FIFA 22. So they get a green link to any league as well as a usual nation link, which to me, usual nation link is just a, uh, not a solid green link, but it is a, just an orange, like a, a basic link between cards with the same nationality. So that makes sense, right? If you were to link up, um, you could link up this Robbie Keane card with Harry Kane, right? In the Premier League and get a green link between those two cards. Uh, or you could link up this Gomez with anybody in the Bundesliga and it would be a green link. So that's going to be very interesting. Again, adding in a whole new piece of squad building um, material and they list a lot of the players. Now, this is only just a fraction of some of the players that have been added to the code. We talked about it a couple weeks ago about some of the new icons and heroes that were added to the code. This is just a few of them. And we know all their stats already, right? For some of these items with their ratings, these match up to what the leaks were. So we know the in-game stats already for a lot of these cards um, that are in the game. So some of these dynamic images look really, really sick. And this card design looks really cool as well, right? Uh, with, with the outline on it, with the colors on the inside. It looks like a really, really cool card design. And again, there are going to be more foot heroes released in August. Now, we're going to skip ahead and start talking about some pre-order stuff here for a second because there is one interesting thing to know about these foot heroes. I guess it's kind of on the side of your screen here. It's hard to see. Um, but it says down here at the bottom, get untradeable foot heroes player item from December 1st, right? This is the date. If they're waiting to release these Foot Heroes cards in the game until December 1st, that is a huge L in my opinion. Like to get people hyped up for a new feature, a new type of card that is going to come out in FIFA and you're not going to make it available from the start, I think that would be a huge L. I honestly think that these cards are going to be available from the start of FIFA 22. We just won't get our free one from the pre-order until December 1st, which is kind of interesting, right? Because if you think about it, a lot of us like to trade. We like to make coins. We like to try out these players with the coins that we have, buy the players that we want to use. A lot of us probably will have an opportunity to pick up some of these hero cards if they are on the market right away and use them before December 1st, when maybe if we pre-ordered the ultimate edition, we will be getting one of these cards, right? It is very, very similar to how earlier in the year, this year in FIFA 21, we had the David Beckham card that was released as an 87 or an 86 rated special card, basically to like everybody, right? And they released it to almost everybody and he had a special card design um, and it was released in December actually. So this is kind of what it reminds me of these foot hero cards, but that's just gonna be an interesting dynamic if they're on the market right away. Now, if they're not on the market and they're not in the game until December 1st, then that is just an L in itself. And I, I wish they would not, I hope they don't do that. But if that is the way that it is, then it'll make sense. And there will be some hype with it around that time. But as we get players that are progressing the power curve in FIFA, there's going to be a lot of cards that will already be better than these foot heroes. Uh, since we already kind of know their stats. Yes, they'll be very interesting. They'll be very hype. People want to try them out and want to use them. A lot of them returning to FIFA or, um, you know, like Dempsey was in FIFA a couple years ago. This is his return. Or some cards may be in FIFA for the first time ever. Some players. So, there's a lot of talk around that and a lot of, you know, just unknown, right? We're going to learn a lot more about this, but as of right now, it really depends on when they're going to release these foot heroes for me, depending on if they are hype or not. Now I mentioned, I mentioned this, uh, ultimate team deep dive, right? Full reveal coming soon. Volta full reveal coming soon. Career mode, full reveal com coming soon. Those are going to be released via the pitch notes, right? EA released pitch notes last year. This is all the way back to August of 2020. And basically every couple days they released a deep dive uh, on what, um, whatever sort of, I guess the, the game mode of FIFA ultimate team or FIFA 20, one that they wanted to focus on the most, right? So they did a gameplay deep dive. They did ultimate team, pro clubs, Volta, career mode. Then they did a beta. Then they did a launch update. So probably starting in the next two to three weeks or so, we're going to start to see a lot of these pitch notes, deep dives. We haven't had pitch notes uh, right now at the end of FIFA 21. We haven't had pitch notes uh, in a long time. It's been a while since we've actually had pitch notes um, I think at least a couple weeks, maybe even a couple months. So, but I just wanted to kind of put that out there so that you guys know what to expect 
as we get closer because again we probably won't hear too much from ea um i guess we'll probably hear the occasional tweet or two they, they tweeted out some pictures of the foot heroes they're gonna keep promoing their trailer and stuff like that but until we have another announcement it's all just going to be twitter talk it's all just going to be um waiting for those further deep dives on a lot of this information now let's talk more about pre-orders right because again inside of fifa 21 right now you can pre-order FIFA. It's right there. You get 10% off. Now, I will say one thing. You can actually get 20% off. If you have an EA Play subscription, you automatically get another 10% off of the new game. So that'd be 20% off of that new FIFA. Just to shout that out, uh, that is available out there for you. But there's some shady stuff with this Ultimate Edition of FIFA because what EA, you can tell with the way that EA is doing this, is they're really trying to get you to buy this Ultimate Edition and to spend a little bit more money to get this Ultimate Edition because they're going to make you feel like you miss out if you don't. Of course, you get the four days early September 27th access instead of October 1st, which is when the Standard Edition, the Worldwide Launch Day, and everything will go live. But a lot of this has to do with like PS4 versus PS5 or Xbox um, One versus Xbox Series uh, X, right? So um, Ultimate Edition is basically the only edition that will have dual entitlement. And of course, if you guys know what dual entitlement is, that basically means uh, that you will have the ability, if you buy the Ultimate Edition, you will have the ability to um, buy the game one time whether it's for ps4 or ps5 and you will be able to upgrade for free and not have to buy the game again now if you buy the standard edition on ps4 and you know you get a ps5 or from an xbox one to an xbox series x you will not be able to freely upgrade that game you'll have to buy fifa again for your next gen console when you get it so again that's one of those things where it's like it feels like ea is really pushing you into getting this ultimate edition now also let's take a look at some of the benefits because this is where it gets interesting as well for the first time ever they're giving you legit FIFA points. Instead of giving you those rare gold packs for like 12 weeks or whatever it was, they would drop you tradable rare gold packs on Sunday night and release them at the same time as squad battle rewards. They're now just straight up giving you 4,600 FIFA points, which we've been talking about this over the past few days. This is a lesser value than what you would have received with those rare gold packs because those rare gold packs are valued at 25,000 coins a piece. I don't know how many FIFA points that is, uh, and you got those for 12 weeks, 4,600 FIFA points. While yes, it is kind of nice to have those FIFA points right away at the start, uh, which by the way, these might not be on your account, account right away. These might not actually get into your account until uh, September 27th when the actual full game drops, if you will. I don't think that there's any EA Play or EA Access 10 hour trial period before that. I don't believe that those FIFA points would show up. That's just my opinion. Um, we'll figure out more around those lines later on. But this is basically a lesser value than those those uh, 25K packs for 12 weeks or whatever it was. Um, but it's just kind of crazy to, to see that these FIFA points are there. And the reason I think that they switched this up this year, instead of, of just giving you packs, they want to give you FIFA points. And people who maybe didn't spend FIFA points before, uh, maybe they're buying the Ultimate Edition because, again, EA is persuading them to buy the Ultimate Edition for that fear of missing out with the dual entitlement upgrade. And they want to get you used to spending FIFA points with preview packs because I really think that preview packs are going to be in FIFA 22 all year long. And that is the new normal that we are going to see in FIFA. And if they give you FIFA points like this, then you're going to be able to maybe preview some packs in that first couple weeks and or just spend the FIFA points on the packs or just kind of hold on to those, right? Let's say you're doing a preview pack for a 7.5K, you pack something sick and like, okay, I'm gonna use my FIFA points today and buy that pack. Next day, you don't get anything great. Day after that, you use your FIFA points to buy a pack that gets you something sick, right? So I think that right here is just kind of one of those like subliminal messaging things that EA is doing to maybe some of the more casual players of this game to get them uh, to get used to using FIFA points, spending FIFA points, get used to the preview packs and stuff like that. So just EA giving you FIFA points makes you notice inside of FIFA that you have those FIFA points up there. Um, and by the way, if people are saying that if you buy the Ultimate Edition, your account is not a true RTG, 
that's bogus, right? Your account is still a true RTG. You are not spending any money on the game. It's basically just like them giving you the packs last year. You're still getting free tradable packs from ordering a, a different version and a more expensive version of the game. This year, they're just doing it through FIFA points. So that is my opinion on that. Of course, we talked about the Foot Heroes item, which won't be out until December 1st. You get an untradeable FIFA 22 ones to watch player item, which this is the official, that's the gold card design. And this is the official card design for ones to watch, which, you know, it looks good, right? These card designs at EA, the EA card design just keep getting better and better. Now, of course, this card looks a little scrunched, right? This is just like um, a little picture version. It'll be a full size card image. Same thing with the foot heroes player, right? It looks like a little scrunched image right now, but this should be what the card design looks like inside of FIFA 22 and a lot of people like the image of the gold card design it looks very like elaborate right you take a look at a gold card uh this year in FIFA let's just go to the popular page and find one real quick this guy's on the popular page right a Chiang Pong you really don't have that much design in the card you have a couple of these designs kind of here in the back and the rest of the card is just gold now FIFA 22 with that almost like lightning bolt kind of thing with the design already on the left I think that looks really good. That's a pretty cool car design for the rare golds, which I'm a big fan of right there. Of course, as a part of the Ultimate Edition, you get that Team of the Week Player 1 item as well. Uh, you get the five-game loan, Kylian Mbappe, which is going to, everybody's going to hate that card in friendlies. Again, if friendlies are made the same way as they are last year, and you get to choose between an Alaba, Foden, or Sun, which I feel like most people will choose between Sun or Foden for a uh, three matches as well. And then you get a local youth prospect for career mode. So, I mean, still, the, basically, it's a technical, they, they're giving you, a foot heroes player so they're giving you another untradeable item to be in your ultimate team and they're taking some packs away from you if you kind of view it as last year they gave you more packs last year and more value for packs but this year they're giving you a foot heroes player item uh for that ultimate edition uh purchase so i just kind of found that very very interesting in my opinion and again i just the scummy part about this is I really just don't like the dual entitlement part about this. And I'm also not too sure about the, um, what is it called? The hyper motion, right? This stuff right here, the hyper motion that they're really, really talking about, revolutionizing gameplay, hyper motion technology. Watching all this stuff gives me a freaking headache, in my opinion. But hyper motion says it's only going to be available on PS5, Xbox Series X or S, and Stadia. Now, I heard some people talking about how Stadia and PC are different but they're run on the same thing. And this might just be a typo for EA where it actually will be available on PC. So we'll probably have some more um, information coming on that. But of course, getting into some of the gameplay features they're talking about with this, of course, this is the image that everybody is talking about off the rip because it shows Christian Pulisic coming in and a Real Madrid defender coming in and, and uh, basically an, what looks like an auto block. And of course, that was one of the biggest frustrations of FIFA 21 was just the auto blocks and this this calls this tactical AI so they come up with all the fancy words they have the fancy names and new ways to describe what they're doing to change the game uh, but in reality we just have to get our hands on it and see if it feels different uh, and stuff like that so goalkeeper rewrite they're doing some stuff with goalkeepers true ball physics I feel like I've heard that every every year uh, explosive sprint when I read this all I can think of is the bridge mechanic, right? They're saying a new gameplay mechanic that changes dynamic of one-on-one -on -one situations. Explosive sprint gives you more control over acceleration when dribbling or defending. Lure opponents in and choose to, to unleash your full speed to get away from the defender as you drive your team forward and attack. That literally just sounds like a bridge skill move to me. Uh, and I think there's a moment inside of the FIFA 22 trailer where Mbappe does a bridge move around the defender, but he does it basically with his, uh, he kind of goes behind with his back foot. So it's like a flare bridge, if you will. Uh, so I, I don't know what's ha gonna happen with that. But as we always talk about the brand new skill moves and the brand new features that they added to the game every year are always the ones that are the most overpowered so of course be on the lookout when we have deep dives gameplay deep dives and they talk about stuff with those pitch notes again i actually want to scroll down and show you what i'm really looking forward forward to with these pitch notes and i'm going to go back and show you one from fiba 21 right now is the pictures that they show uh and the the videos that they show um, I actually don't know if they're going to show any of those, those. Yeah, these right here. These are the videos and the pictures. Basically, this shows you like the coding of the game. These kind of like fake players or like the shot trajectory ones. Like th this is the stuff with the animations and how they code the game. 
uh, this is what I'm really excited to see. I'm really excited to see that kind of stuff uh, when they do like a gameplay deep dive. So that's just one thing that I'm kind of talking to you guys about and I want to tell you about is watch out for uh, these sorts of things in the game when they're getting released in FIFA. So just kind of watch out for that. Those will be a very, those will be a very helpful tool to kind of describe and see what's going on with all this new stuff inside of FIFA 22. So again, the big news is the weekend league changes, right? And we're going to have a lot more news that is coming in the next few days, um, or the next few, I guess, couple weeks, not necessarily days. Um, but they're really going hard after this hyper motion stuff. They're really going hard after some of the gameplay features. And um, I guess uh, FIFA 22 powered by football. So that's all the information that I have and want to talk about with you guys today. Again, I feel like there's a lot of stuff that's going to be coming out, but I feel like today we kind of scratched the surface, talked about the pre-order stuff. Um, we'll talk more about that later on. Maybe is there a better time to buy the pre-order? Um, is there a better way where you can save some money? And of course, some things like that. So those are all my thoughts on FIFA 22. Try to throw some stuff in there, um, not just reading out what they posted, but you know, incorporating how we might see that into FIFA 22. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think um, about all of this FIFA 22 hype, man. Uh, it's building, right? It is here. We are in that time period where it's the new game is on the horizon. We are basically two and a half months away from the new game coming out. October 1st, September 27th. September 22nd, 22 should be the web app release that is like 10 days before the game release so september 22nd of 2021 should be the web app release and that's when we fully get started on fifa so that's all the fifa 22 information for now as more stuff comes out we'll talk about it and we'll update you guys if you did like this video make sure to put a thumbs up on it again comment down below if you have any questions or comments and subscribe if you're new it's been nathan foot accountant i will catch you guys later peace out